absolutely pathetic weasel nonsense on Maria Bartiromo's Fox Business show where Republican Congressman Eric Burleson brought up the possibility that Joe Biden is using Mountain Dew as a performance enhancing substance and will be on the Dew during the debate. Now, I used to like Mountain Dew when I was 14. Uh, and apropos of not, <laughs> I don't even know how that's related to the story, but I just figured I'd mention I used to like Mountain Dew when I was 14. To think that the entire dementia hiding, carefully calibrated pharmaceutical intervention depends on Mountain Dew is a little difficult. Listen to this. That uh, Ronnie Jackson says uh, Biden will be will have been at Camp David for a full week before the debate and that they're probably experimenting uh, with with getting doses right, uh, giving him medicine ahead of the debate. Is that what you think? Yeah, I think that, you know, any any patient that truly or, you know, elderly individual or someone that has dementia, uh, they, they can find some moments of clarity, right? They, they can find moments throughout the day that they have energy. And I look, I think that we should, Trump's team should not underestimate Joe Biden and his team's ability to, to uh, you know, wh whether they're going to. Um, jack him up on Mountain Dew or whatever it is that look, the State of the Union this year, he had a lot of energy for about an hour. An hour. Yep. Uh, the, the families of dementia and Alzheimer's sufferers uh, all over the country, um, newly inspired by the possibility that Mountain Dew may help their loved ones uh, diminish their symptoms, reduce their symptoms. Now, Trump, let's be very, very honest about the numbers here. Trump reportedly drinks 12 Diet Cokes a day. OK, each one has 45 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, so 12 of them is like four, 540 milligrams of caffeine. This is way more than what the medical science recommends in an entire day. Absolutely no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine is typically the recommendation. Trump is constantly having Diet Cokes. And if he does have the 12 a day that he is reported to have, that's way more than the absolute maximum of caffeine that anybody should be having. Mountain Dew has a very similar amount of caffeine, 55 milligrams. It's almost the same. I can assure you Biden is not drinking 12 Mountain Dews a day and certainly isn't going to be chugging 12 Mountain Dews or six or even three uh, before a debate. It's just ridiculous. And if we are reduced after he's on drugs, he's on stimulants, it's Adderall, it's Provigil, it's this is that it's that. And then those claims slowly fall apart as we learn more about how those substances work. If all we have left is he's on caffeine from soda, we have nothing more than what Donald Trump is doing by having 12 Diet Cokes a day. I also dementia aside have seen no evidence that Mountain Dew turns people into good debaters. That's for sure. And if it did, if it did, uh, some of my coworkers when I worked at a laser tag facility would have been much more cogent in their political arguments than they were when I was 15 years old. So I think I have personal experience that Mountain Dew does not have that effect on people. So we're getting to the end. OK, after the break, Dr. John Gartner will tell us what should we be watching for tomorrow night? if our goal is to figure out what is the cognitive status of either of these men. So we'll take a very quick break. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the David Pakman show. And we'll be right back. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book, Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackman.com slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, read them with the kids. davidpackman.com slash book.